Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. Today, a product review. Let me tell you a little story. So, small, I'm a small YouTuber. I have just under 10,000 subscribers. Um, and I started a little more than two years ago. And when I hit about 5,000 subscribers, I started getting emails from unknown companies. Hi, we love your channel, we love your content and style. We'd love you to review our product. Could be a filter, I had a couple of those. Could be an air pump, I had a couple of those. Um, most of the food deals I've gotten have been just from me talking to different suppliers and us working out. Uh, hey, I'll send you some food as long as you talk about it on your video. And I say, as long as I talk about it honestly on my video and you don't care if I trash it, that's fine. Some people, eh, we won't send you anything. Some people, no problem, you're gonna love our stuff. Anyway, recently I was contacted by this company and I'll give you all the descriptions, I'll give you all the, the information in the description below. This is a Luxmart mini aquarium pump air pump and this started when I was in Japan I got an email and um, would you like to to uh, review our product we love your channel blah 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 I said sure send me something and they said well are you gonna review it and I said yes but I'm gonna be honest if I think it's a piece of crap I'm gonna say in my video it's a piece of crap but if I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread with a thin coat of garlic butter and some parmesan cheese then you know i'm gonna say it so we they sent me this air pump from amazon um like i said i'm gonna get you all the information below and uh i'm gonna unbox it live and test it in this 10 gallon tank i have here which i'll move the camera so you can see it but it's a little tiny air pump. It's like a nano pump. It hangs on the side of the tank, which is nice. The company in English is ZD. Um, and uh, it says ZD real good on it. Then there's a sticker here uh, that's covering the actual sticker on the box. But it's a China air pump. I can't imagine the quality is anything to write home about but if you're looking for a cheap air pump for a nano tank maybe this is it so let's unbox it and see what this is all about live in this video so the first thing I notice is it's actually packaged kind of well for what appears to be a cheap POS but <clears throat> I shouldn't say that until I try it right so in the box comes the air pump which is pretty small A little cord on it. Let's unwrap it. See how long it is. I don't know. What's that? Three feet? Two feet? And uh, an air stone. Your typical cheap little air stone. And some airline tubing. It's kind of nice. It's the cough, people. I've had it all day at work, all week. We're gonna unwind the, uh, see how long this is, unwind these wire ties. You know, there's like 6,000 coils. <clears throat> and then, it appears, there's the hook that it mounts to and an instruction booklet. Once again, people, full disclosure, the company contacted me, said, would you review our air pump? And I said, sure, but I'm gonna be honest, and they sent it to me anyway. So, what do you think? Like this? No. Like this. All right, so it clips on. This is kind of odd that the air goes up when it clips on. That's, it doesn't clip the other way because look, the clip is like that and that is like that. So this is how it goes. So the first thing I'm gonna say is this is backwards, but all right. Then they sent nice thick airline to, this is, this is, it's thick stuff. Doesn't feel like silicone, but it might be. And the airstone. 
Drop the airstone in the tank. Hang this on the side, okay. The next thing I can tell you is the thickness that this little clip opens, it'll break on this 10 gallon tank. This is maybe <coughs> three quarters of an inch. This thing is probably designed for a quarter of an inch. So that's, that's the first problem, folks. Like I said, all right. Let's open the instruction book and now that I put it all together. Super silent air pump instruction manual. English and Chinese. I'm gonna to choose to read the English side. The characteristics of this product, now listen, coming from someone that's my whole job, not my whole job, but part of my job is translating Japanese to English. And so sometimes uh, I just use translation software, but then I have to translate that English into real English. I call it Jinglish. Um, it doesn't really make sense, but I kind of know what it, it means. Same way. The characteristics of this product. Super silent, unique design, eliminating noise from the source. I'll be the judge of that. <coughs> Energy saving using piezoelectric ceramic technology. Power consumption is almost zero. Now, I wish I had one of those fancy adapters to check, because that would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm doing this pretty much live. I didn't even open it before I filmed this video. Because I like to have the natural reaction. Why? Because Mike from Michael's Fish Room keeps it real. Stable and durable. No transmission parts nowhere. Stable pressure and volume. Okay. Easy to use, plug and play without repair and maintenance. So that means when it breaks, it breaks. You can't replace the diaphragms. All right, I get it. The technical parameters. Mini air pump. Voltage 110 volts, 60 hertz, 0.5 watts of power, doesn't say over how much time. Flow, 0.4 liters per minute at 0.01 megapascals. Mega? Milli? Something pascals. Mega, it's a big M. Noise, under 35 decibels. All right, so installation instructions. So it tells you this does not tell you to put the pump in the tank, does it? Oh. So let me show you these instructions. The pictures are in Japanese also. Look. Doesn't that look like the pump's in the water? Like this one. Looks like the pump's in the water, right? But matters need attention. That's the second part of the instructions. Do not immerse in the water. <coughs> it's kind of what immerse means, but whatever. If the pump submerged water carelessly, please immediately cut off the power supply. That would be Jinglish. I'm not trying to offend anyone, I'm just saying. If the pump submerged water carelessly, that means if you drop the pump in the water, unplug it right away. Pretty much what they're saying. Regular cleaning tube and porous stone get the biggest gas flow and extended of pump life. <clears throat> For your safety, if discover the power line damage, do not use products. Before the hand into the water, please be sure to cut off the power of gas pump. Before the hand into the water, please be sure to cut off the power of gas pump. Makes sense. Place the pump. Stand by. Place the pump must be higher than the surface of the water. If less than the water, must install check valve in the tube to prevent water flow to the pump. Okay, makes sense. All right, and then in Chinese. Blah, 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 blah. Shall we plug it in? I'm gonna adjust the camera first, all right? Stand by. All right, fishy folks. Let's plug it in and see how many bubbles comes out. It is pretty quiet. I can barely hear it over my Gemco pump. And it's putting out some bubbles. All right, can you see the bubbles? Yeah. I gotta be honest, it's pretty quiet. <clears throat> so, for a nano tank, it probably would be pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in a deeper tank. If you don't know, quick lesson from Michael's Fish Room, the deeper the air stone is, the more pressure the pump has to provide, 
and therefore in some deep tanks you might get less bubbles or no bubbles so if you have i bet if i put this pump i don't know new but maybe a little bit worn if i put it in my 90 or 75 probably won't have bubbles but we're going to check that so let's do that i'm going to move the camera and do another test stand by all right fishy folks hiya the first thing we're gonna check after the 10 is a 20 <clears throat> high. So it's a little taller than a 10 gallon. We'll plug it in, plenty of bubbles. I can tell you that I put this, look, I put this on the side of the tank and I almost broke it because it was too thick. So I'm kind of holding it. All right, let's move on to a, a big tank. All right, fishy folks, we're gonna check it out in Chewy's tank. By the way, Chewy finally ate this morning. He hadn't really eaten for me. It was frozen bloodworms. He didn't eat any pellet food tonight. So I will uh, probably not feed him tomorrow morning and see if he'll eat tomorrow night. Pellets, we'll see how it goes. So this is a 75 gallon tank. I certainly cannot put this on the side because it'll definitely break. So yeah, oh, I know, I'll clip it to the center brace. <clears throat> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Plenty of air. I mean, it's not a bad little air pump. I gotta be honest, I'm very surprised. I thought it was gonna be a complete waste. Can you see that? You can see that, because you can see Chewy, and it's right in front of Chewy. So, all right, it's pushing the air stone. I wonder if it'll push a, uh, a sponge filter. That'll be our next test. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I found a sponge filter in a tank. Um, it wasn't too dirty. I squeezed it out once just to see. So probably your standard air, uh, your standard sponge filter. This is one of the um, Aquarium Solutions Bacto Surge pump. So the foam is really, uh, the, the holes in the foam are really small. So it does tend to get clogged easier. But let's plug it in and see if it'll push bubbles out of this air pump in a 75 gallon tank. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, that took a long time. I probably would want more bubbles in that, but I wonder if we, I mean, that's not terrible. I gotta be, well, you can't see that. It's a good thing I looked at the camera. Stand by, I'm gonna move the camera. That's not too bad, right? I mean, I'm sure this air pump isn't designed for this, so we're stretching it, but let's put it back down. Yeah, that's that's fine. I would, I would use that air pump with this filter in this tank if I had to. And it is pretty quiet, I gotta be honest. The white pump is like 11 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You can also get it in black, and the black one is a little bit more. It's $11, oh sorry, $12. And you can get it in blue. Blue's also $12. Just so you know, there's only 13 left of the black one. So order soon, Amazon. Links in the description below. That's not terrible. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised. All right, fishy folks. That's it for my honest review of the ZD air pump. I give it a shot for 10 or 11 bucks. It's not bad, especially if you have a small tank. It'll do the job. Hope you guys enjoy. See ya. All right, fishy folks. Fishy folks?